South Korea's military says it believes a recently recovered spy satellite from the north had no real use as a reconnaissance device. The rocket carrying the satellite plunged into the sea off South Korea's west coast in late May after a botched launch. The South was able to salvage parts of the rocket, including the booster, payload, and cylindrical body. South Korea's military said in a statement Wednesday that, quote, After detailed analysis on major parts of North Korea's space launch vehicle and satellite which were salvaged, South Korean and U.S. experts have assessed that they had no military utility as a reconnaissance satellite at all. They determined the capability of the equipment was poor in terms of resolution and tracing targets. Military experts said it is the first time South Korea has secured a satellite launched by the North. At a key ruling party meeting in June, North Korea described the botch launch as the, quote, gravest failure. State media said that those deemed responsible for that failure were harshly criticized. It was a rare public admission of a technical problem by Pyongyang, who also vowed to succeed in its orbital quest. In recent months, the North appears to have upgraded its Sohai satellite launch station, potentially for another attempt. The nuclear-armed North has pursued a satellite program since the 1990s. In 2012 and 2016, North Korea launched objects that still remain in orbit. Despite the North's claims, there has been no confirmation they are functioning or transmitting signals.